Let's talk a little bit about radiation. This is Galen Windsor, an American chemist with an impressive CV in the nuclear industry. He never worried about radioactivity and the dangers of radiation, but government forced him to. Totally unnecessary, he thought, and protested through a series of 77 lectures where he tried to convince the audience that uranium was edible. If we can, uh, yeah, are we picking up? If you put the probe right there, the meter goes off scale, and you can hear it, all right? Hot. Radiation, gamma radiation is the most penetrating of all radiation. Oh, is it? All it's got between the rock and the probe is my hand. Doesn't count so pretty much, does it? What if I put the rock behind me? You don't suppose they've been lying to you, do you? I suspect they have. Well, let's do a little bit more. I got a black bottle. This stuff comes in white bottles. A bottle of no-dose. You can send children down to the drugstore to buy no-dose. All they need is money. In this are six, 60 white caffeine pellets. And this one is uranium oxide, U308. You can't buy it for love nor money. The state of Washington sent two of their Gestapo agents over to my home to confiscate my uranium samples on the 17th of December last year. Got a challenge. I'd like to have somebody in the room volunteer to take all of this bottle or all of this bottle. The only thing that I'll tell you is that one of them won't hurt you and the other one will kill you. Do you want the white stuff? Or the black stuff? White stuff? You do. There's enough in there to kill four men your size. The government says we got to ban this material. It's radioactive. Let's check it in the bottom of the bottle. Not very radioactive. Let's take the cap off. Oh, goodness. Very radioactive. Okay, radioactive material. You pour it out in the hand, and that's radioactive contamination. Is it radioactive? Yeah, it is. Very radioactive. Now, decontamination is nothing but scooping it back up and putting it into the bottle. I just now decontaminated my hand. No, I didn't do such a good job. Not good at all. Is it still radioactive? Yeah, that's called residual radioactivity. Now, under the decontamination rules of the government, when you decontaminate somebody like this that's that contaminated, and this is certainly a reportable incident under current DOE regulations, when you decontaminate it, it has to go down a control drain so that you don't disperse radioactivity. Do I qualify as a control drain? That material that I just ate is uh, not soluble in body fluids. Because I've been eating this on lecture tour for two years, the state of Washington felt it necessary to confiscate my uranium samples so that I would be safe. Many people are afraid what happens when you ingest a small quantity of uranium. Not very much. It has happened occasionally, but no disease cases or deaths are known. Radiation is way less dangerous than people fear. Galen Windsor also swam in the spent fuel basin of the nuclear power plant and drank the water as well. 
He died of Parkinson's disease, which is not related to radiation. He was 82.